Alrighty, here we are at the Schumann Resonance. And this is something I pretty mu much watch throughout the day. I think it's, it's fascinating, but typically it, it is a tool for me to, to understand more clearly what, um, what I'm going through, what clients are going through, what humanity is going through, so that I can better bring some knowledge and, um, and understanding to some of the energetic and emotional um, changes that we, we are going through in on our planet and for those of us who are empaths we are extremely extremely sensitive to these energies and because empaths for um, for a long time have been disregarded because of their sensitivities um, you know diminished because of it I want to bring a little bit more science to it a very high level I am certainly not um, uh, like, you know, I'm certainly not a scientist, but I'm a critical thinker and I like to have tools that also back up how I feel so that my left brain, right brain balance is coming into alignment and I can also understand more clearly some of the things that I'm, that I'm navigating in, in this human life and this human body and I can share that with you. The human resonance is uh, a... Um, technology that's in Russia that measures the frequency of the earth. It is said to be the quote-unquote heartbeat of the earth. And every, pretty much every minute of the energies coming into earth are registered through the Schumann reson resonance. So you see these two blasts. I did a uh, I did a video, um, uh, not a video, I'm sorry, I did a post on Instagram about this day yesterday here because it's very, very interesting. These blasts go all the way down. I'm going to talk a little bit about that, um, but this, these white blasts are extremely, extremely powerful and you will feel them. So let's, let's dive into this a little bit. What these blasts come from are the sun. So if we go back to real-time data, I want to go up here. This shows the solar winds, all right? And this is the, whoops, a little, this is the earth, and you'll see these blasts that we're going to look at here in a minute coming off these solar winds. So these are not, um, these are not hitting uh, earth directly. When we do get hit by a um, coronal mass injection and it, it hits us directly, so it's pretty powerful. But still, even without being a direct hit, we are still feeling the power. I want you to see this, this is kind of cool too. This is July 4th, July 5th, and you'll see a CME come off of there, boom. We go to the 6th, and then on the 7th, there was another one. Let's just see, boom, okay, it's a smaller one. But then if you go back here to the Schumann, you'll see July 6th, there was that, there was that um, CME that hit us, right? Then you come over here, and on the 7th, here is the, the larger one. So you're starting to see what's happening. The, over here is the hertz. This is the frequency, the level of frequency. Earth's baseline has been just under 8 hertz at 7.8, and you'll see this line that runs right across. This is the collective consciousness. This is the collective consciousness of all of humanity and beings on Earth that resonate. We have to resonate with the, uh, the vibration of Earth, otherwise we don't exist. What's happening now is as Earth um, orbits into this this photon belt and all of this is out there i'm not going to go really deeply into this because it's not my space to do it and also um, i want you to do this research because if you have an interest in what we're talking about here and you go looking for it when you find the things that support your own growth it it makes a big difference all of this information that i'm sharing there are many many layers of details that come with these this overview so if you're interested, go find it because it's fascinating. So it's as we go into this, this orbit, we're going into a 5D frequency. What that means is the fifth dimensional frequency starts at 
30 hertz right around here. So we are having as a planet and as beings, we are having to increase our own energies from this baseline. And this is going to take this is going to take some time. So it's not like, you know, overnight we're going to be here and the earth's going to be around, you know at at 30 hertz quickly. This is a gradual increase and yet while we're in it, we are going to feel the effects <clears throat> and we are going to have to do the work. What that means is these higher frequencies mean the lower densities of these lower vibrations cannot exist in those higher frequencies. So what that means is, see all this red right here? The red indicates density. These are the lower vibrational densities that exist in the, on, on planet Earth. Those densities are anything, any energies, that have a lower vibration. Those lower vibrations can be densities in our bodies, densities in our emotional well-being, meaning we have we live with a lot of fear or anxiety, depression, overwhelm, stress. That is all very low densities, uh, uh, d uh, dense emotions, which carry a frequency. So as you can see here, through this line that goes through humanity, this is our collective, our collective consciousness, you can see all of this red, these densities are being blasted. So we have all of this white photonic light, pure divine light coming in from our, our sun. And that comes from, and, and the sun gets her energy from the, the great galactic sun in the center of, of our galaxy. Um, this then blasts, so to speak, these densities within us. So when we're getting these white blasts, life can feel okay. It actually feels like we're standing in the light, like it, it, it's a high vibration, it's beautiful and blissful. And yet, when these come in, I know then that there's gonna be some integration of this. We can't just get hit by these and be like, okay, I'm done. You know why? Because these are going really deeply into us, into our consciousness. What do I mean by that? How we read the frequencies of the different energy waves that come in, we have seen this before. A lot of talk around the different brain waves in meditation. And this chart here goes through all the, the different um, energy frequencies for each of our brain waves, okay? So if you'll notice, the theta brain waves are from four to eight hertz, okay? So coming back here, that's where this is, all right? So our theta brain waves, which is the theta state is where we, we attempt to get to in meditation, these brain waves are getting cleared. They're getting some some attention. And these brain waves are disrupting those lower densities that we're sitting with. So if you have things in your life, relationships, let's say, um, maybe toxic relationships that are just front and center of, of your existence right now, they just keep coming up or there's a challenge that you have, whether it's a job or finances, wherever you're seeing challenges it's because they are being brought to the surface for you to clear the issue clear the challenge because that lower frequency cannot exist within you as your body rises so these things are going to be keep, they're going to keep coming and coming and coming unless you do something about it sweet soul this is when we get to clear all the stuff this fuzz right here this fuzz is where we do the work. This is the integration time. Do you see how frenetic this is? This is how it feels. It feels quite, um, quite intense. After we get a blast, it's quite intense. We've got to move through these. But what I want you to see is this pattern. See the white and the fuzz. And then there's a breather. White and the fuzz and there's a breather. So what this is saying is, this is where you understand that this too shall pass. When you are sitting in these frequencies, 
and these densities are being shown to you, being brought to your attention for you to handle, this will pass as long as you are with it and you sit in the, the pain of this healing. This green is healing energy. How do I know this? I can go back, I think over here. I can't believe it's on here, here it goes. So the blue is like the lowest density, I'm sorry, intensity of, of um, energy. The green, <clears throat> the green right here, this is the, the normal stuff. This is where you get to integrate into a normal way. You're, get, you're inviting these energies into becoming your normal frequency. And then the white, of course, is the high intensity, which we talked about. So when you're here, this is the, your time to heal and integrate. This is the time to up level. This is giving you the zzz, the blast to wake you up and to see new things, new, new ideas, new revelations will be revealed. And once you see the light, now it's time to actually integrate that information into your being. The more you roll with these, the more you, and this is what I always say, want, the more that you ride these waves of energy, knowing what they are, and you are also doing the work to clear all that is being broken up here within you and all that is being revealed, and if you want to clear, if it's something that you want to clear, it's a density, get to work, sweet soul, because the faster you get through it, the better it is for you, the healthier it is for you, and the more that you ascend into higher states of being. You'll see here that all along, you still, you'll kind of start, you're seeing a baseline here. There's a part of our collective that has raised their energy so much that it's starting to then become a secondary collective energy. It still needs to be filled in a little bit, be, you know, but there's enough people now who are consciously clearing these densities. And you see, as you get higher in frequency, there's less of this red, right? That's a good thing. It's less energies to clear. Now, one last thing to take a look at that I think is very, um, very interesting. This white, these, these blasts go real deep all the way. They go through the, the chart, actually, or they're past the chart. So these right here are at 40 hertz. That is like almost between triple and quadrupling our baseline average. So what that means is, like I, I did, posted this on Instagram yesterday. Look how this, this blast right here, this is this, this shot right here. This blast goes all the way down into our gamma brain waves that those barely get attention to us consciously. It's hard, we, we try to go this level in meditation to go this far down. Um, I, I don't know if it's impossible to do it consciously. I'm, I'm not sure or if it can only be done with the help of the sun. Um, that's a question I don't know, but it, it, it does, I don't know. I don't know if we can do it on our own, but the sun's doing it for us. And what this means then is going down to our gamma waves this is where insight and expanded consciousness happens. We are being forced to expand, not forced, but we are being helped to expand our consciousness. And when that happens, when these beams of light come in from the sun and go down to our gamma waves, this, this, these gamma brain waves are associated with waking states and can occur when we are simultaneously processing information in both, both brain hemispheres which means we are completely balanced in left brain, right brain hemispheres. Whales and dolphins also operate in these frequencies. The, we know, we know that whales and dolphins have a crazy, crazy high consciousness to the point where I'm not sure we fully understand it. If, if a being is, <clears throat> is operating in these kind of frequencies as their baseline frequency at 30 to 100, they're already operating in the 5D frequency. That is a major, major um, difference from where we are at 7.8 as a collective. So when we are being beamed with beautiful energy that is massaging and nurturing these, these 
beautiful, like these deep, deep gamma brain waves, we are being upgraded in such a divine way. This is when we pay attention. And when you, sweet soul, see that these, these um, blasts come in, this is when you, you revel in them. This is when I go to the beach and I sit in that water and I turn my head up to, my face up to that sun, and I just sit there and I give great thanks because I know in that moment, my soul and my, my brain energy, my frequency is all being cosmically and divinely nurtured. I don't have to do the work in that moment. I simply sit there and allow the work to be done. When the work is complete, this is when I take over and I sit in the energies. Anything that has come to my mind, any, any ideas, new revelations, new understandings, I then take with me and I integrate them for the next few hours or sometimes a few days. And sometimes this is some deeply challenging stuff. And this is when, when we are integrating, your support group is extremely, extremely important. I want to invite you to a support group that I am part of. Um, actually, I'm a co-creator of. The Maloka Weavers is a beautiful community. We are literally bringing the people together who are paying attention to, to this, who are dedicating to the work to raise their frequency, to come up to higher states of being, because sweet souls, it is up to us to create the world, to recreate a world of existence that is in alignment with that 5D frequency. When we are operating at this 5D frequency, we are then operating in a world where love and abundance flows for all. We live in an existence so very different from what we know that we have to literally create it. We have to go on to into a new renaissance of recreating the systems and the ways in which we operate in our in our in our in humanity so that all are served and we are no longer slaves or taken hostage by the one percent that are ruling this world through deceptive manipulation. It is up to us to consciously understand that we are recreating a world and we are dismantling the old, denser ways of running this planet. It sounds like a big undertaking, but what I will say and what you already know is that a little bit done by a lot of people has a massive effect. And you see that there's a lot of people going through some work right now, blasting away their densities. There's a new, there's a couple different collectives that are coming up in consciousness. You can start to see these, these, um, uh, the frequencies coming together, the collective frequencies coming together to form more lines, so to speak, more collective energy. We see it building. There are these people who are doing this work and ascending to this, le to this level of frequency and they're doing the work and they're ascending and then there's some here doing this work and then there's some here. I don't know where we are, but I'm pretty sure you and I, if we are here, we are part of these collectives that are coming up in higher and higher frequencies because we are sitting in the blast. We are sitting in our integration time. We are doing the work. The more that you do it and I do it and our Maloka weavers do it, we are all in this together. We come together, we have events where we come together twice a week. Today we've got one at 10 a.m. and we come together to discuss, to heal, to say here's what I'm experiencing and I'm having a really hard time and we hold that person in our circle and we do not let her go until she knows that she is okay. This is a beautiful place. I would love to, um, to invite you to the malocaweavers.mn.co. I will put the, the link in the, in the description. Um, but come join us. Gather in this circle because we are 
here and we are completely committed to raising the frequency of our collective so that we can rise together into higher states of being and actually live in the world we are here to create. I hope this helps you. Thank you. If you have any questions, I may or may not know the answer. This is all um, a study. This is all um, observation. It's all experience, coming together, connecting dots, understanding how we operate in the cosmic world on this planet, how we connect all of these dots to understand that this is not a figment of our imagination that we're going through. This is not us being overly sensitive empaths that just can't, can't handle the energy, just feeling all the energies. This is a big deal. And the more that we as empaths understand how to maneuver these energies, the more then that we can explain it and show it. We have tools now like the Schumann Resonance that can show people like th this is actually happening. This is not me being dramatic. This is something that's happening. And if you'd like to know more about it, I can show you the same tools that I'm using to track these energies so that we are better prepared to ride the waves, understand how we are being helped and supported by our cosmic friends, by our sun, by other multidimensional beings that are helping us to integrate this. Yes, we are being helped. Thank you for being here. I hope this helped in some way. If it did, please share it because it's, um, it's important stuff to share right now. It'll help a lot of people make sense of their lives and I appreciate the share or the like and you can also subscribe to our channel for more videos like this. Thanks for being here. Bye.